if we look at this through modern mapping techniques, this is what we see. It's a digital elevation model, the result of taking side scanning radar data from satellites okay, and mathematically interpolating that data to bring out certain things. You can bring out shadows, enhance the valleys, or enhance the plains a little bit. Now, what we see here is this teardrop shaped area that's different from the rest. First of all, it's higher than the west. It's not really higher than over here, but you see it's much more desiccated in the sense of east of the Chagrin River, right here. Uh, the land is much more broken, and that is because the bluestone does not underlie that area. This is the fossilized sand body that makes its presence known on the east side. All of the streams that drain the bluestone heights tend to drain from the center, and most of these streams drain from Lyman Circle in Shaker Heights, which is the home of Laurel School. Here is Dome Brook, a branch here, a branch here that actually goes right up there, the south branch. Dugway Brook, Brook branches have their sources just in here. Nine Mile Creek, Euclid Creek, and then the Chagrin drainages down here, and then Mill Creek, one of the larger ones, and a branch of Tinker's Creek right up there. Geologists call this a radial drainage pattern. And it is what you find on a volcano. You have the streams running down from the apex of the cone. This is like a compressed cone. Why do we have this kind of cone-shaped geographic or topographic structure here on the east side? The answer is glacial, the intense erosional power of glaciers moving across this area. If we take this geological map of Ohio, you see that the maximum extent of glaciers 20,000 years ago, um, just about at the border of what we call northeast and southeast Ohio, we have then the retreat of the glaciers in our area beginning 15,000, 14,000 years ago. And when this let go, when all of the ice let go, we got intense erosion that gave us our streams after 14,000 years. All of our gorgeous ravines in this area came within a few thousand years of about 12 to 14,000 years ago. And we know these, these wonderful chasms that we have. Uh, Euclid Creek up near Anderson Road, the Bluestone on top, the Cleveland Shale beneath, uh, steep, narrow canyon. Euclid Creek once again, widening out a little bit below uh, Anderson Road, and then widening out still more. Uh, below that, you have downstream from that in the uh, in the Welch's Wood picnic area, and then the opening of the gorge at Euclid Avenue 